Okay. Hey guys, today's video, I am working on a brand spanking new 2024 all-terrain fat moto bike. So this bike has a lot of cool features. It's got hydraulic disc brakes, upgraded forks, and it's got a upgraded jack shaft. So it's gonna be stronger. So we hadn't even gotten to the best bit. You know, 2024, it's election year. What would be better to have than a American flag fat moto bike? So right here in this box is a American flag fat moto all-terrain bike. So uh, let's get this unboxing done because I cannot wait to see this thing. So we're going to do an unboxing. So I went ahead and I cut this thing open and so what do we got here? Nothing. Packing. Alright, I guess I need to manhandle this thing out of here. This is looking pretty good. Do you think maybe we can get a little bit of a peek? Just right here. You want to peek? Okay, here we go. Yeah, I really wanted to see this too. You know, bro, it's election season, and all I got to say is America. This is good oh, man, this is this is so good what do you think of it you like it i like it i wish i had one yeah well it's, it's bright it i like it yeah all right this is awesome cool so I'm very happy with the, the, the look of this bike. Look at the American flag on here. It is looking so good. It is awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set up the camera and we're gonna go ahead and just throw this bike together and uh, or should we do the whole thing on a regular? So today's a special day because it's kind of a one year anniversary of the passing of our father. And we decided that we were gonna hang out today and work in our dad's old garage. So we have full access to this garage and we decided today would be a great day to put this fat moto together and uh, even maybe ride it around a little bit. But uh, we don't have a stand in this garage not like my brother's shop all out bikes in Four Oaks, North Carolina. So we are uh, having to put this thing, thing together on the ground, which is, which is okay, because the bike goes together pretty fast. So uh, this is basically what you have right out of the box. And we are gonna just throw a front tire on it, pretty simple. And then we should be able to put, where's the kickstand, there's the kickstand. We'll put the kickstand down and we'll set up the bike like normal. And then I've got a, uh, a little stool I can roll around on and uh, and be fairly comfortable. Because being on the on my knees in this cold garage kind of kind of sucks. So uh, we're gonna start by unpacking this front fork. We're removing all of the the safety, the, the foam and stuff off of them. Packing gonna, material. Thank you. Packing material, and we're gonna put the front tire on and uh, go from there. They did a great job packing this thing together. You know what, I could put the handlebars on so they're out of the way, and then, uh, and then do the front fork. So let me find a tool to undo that and put the handlebars on. You're joking. How'd you know that would fit? Was it in just in your pocket? Yeah. 
All right. Okay. Does this fit the size? Yes, it does. What size is this? You four. Know? It is a four. So the handlebar bolts are four millimeter Allen. And if you're like my brother and have one just sitting in your pocket, it's uh, going to be right there. <laughs> you know? I need an Allen wrench. Here you go. All right. Shifter. I forgot that these things had gears. Seven speeds. That is awesome. That is a lot better than the earlier ones because when you're pedaling without the engine, those things can really work you to death. All right, so I'm gonna need a knife to cut this bag. You got a knife in your pocket? Look at that. You should be cutting away from you. Well, my brother has a really sharp knife and this, I'm, I'm actually kind of cutting away. So, it'll be fine. But yes, the regular person probably should be cutting away. You know what, I should set a good example, right? I'm gonna cut away. There we go. Y'all feel better now? Do you feel better? Cameraman? impressed with uh with the knife. Very nice. What brand is it? Benchmade. Benchmade. Nice. Here you go. Thank you. Alright. Sorry, I, I had to look at that BMX bike over there. Oh, it's cool. It's a very nice BMX bike. If y'all are interested in that BMX bike, my brother is actually working on a video on it right now and it's going to be out tomorrow tomorrow which is going to be a few days before this video so check them out all out bikes you want to tell them a little bit about that you know what let's it's all about the fat moto today it's all about the fat moto pretty sweet bike you know, I bet this fat moto would kick that bike's butt in a in a fight. No. I was just saying, if you hear a little bit of noise on the camera, I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm trying to be a good cameraman, but uh, his he doesn't have a a very good handle on this not. thing. I do not. So, so if there's any any so if there's so if there's any noises, you know, we'll we'll fire the cameraman. <coughs> Alright, so is if there if I'm doing anything wrong, bro, let me know. because, uh, you know you are fired, sir. Phones are supposed to be on silent. And I don't care if you heard my phone a few minutes ago. That was uh, not my phone. Yeah. All right. So we've never shot a video in here before. This is a this is a first. This is going to be a one-two video out of our dad's old shop. I'm gonna kind of pan around. We installed the TV. We thought it would be cool, which it is. 
So this is almost how we, our dad left the shop, almost. We did do a little bit of cleaning up. So, bearings feel great. Would you do me a favor, bro? And uh, would you spin this tire just so we can like look and see how round it is? Just to give it a little spin. It's not too bad. The tire is a little bit not seated all the way. I'm hoping that we'll just put some air in the tire and, and it'll be good to go. Sometimes you have to uh, take the tire off the bead and lube it up real good and then put air back in the tire and make sure that this little line is perfectly uh, symmetrical with the rim. Soap and water. Soap and water works great. Uh, so sometimes you might have to redo that. And we've done a video on it maybe a year ago or something on how to seat these tires. Maybe two. Actually, I think it's been two. Okay. So if I, if I don't get too lazy, I'll put the link in the video if I know how because I've never done it before. Um, I've got a new favorite part on this bike. I like gold. The taste of it, the smell of it, the feel of it. Now that's that's a new upgrade for this year. Right. I was explaining uh, at the beginning of the video that this bike has upgraded forks and hydraulic brakes which is super duper nice. We've got a disc front and rear uh, brake. All right, so you gotta pay attention. Where's the brake at? It's on the right, left side of the bike, so I need to make sure that this tire goes on with the disc brake on that side. If, uh... <laughs> So if you have a, a, a helper, it's always good to have them show up and just kind of give you a hand with, you know, the bike. You don't want to scratch it up or anything. So uh, you mind not at all. picking up on this so I can... You can do it yourself. It just takes a little bit more time. Uh, you need to be sure to warn the people about hitting the brake without the wheel in there. Because oh, yeah. Do not hit the brake, guys, until until the disc is in place. Now there's a uh, some some brake pads that are spread apart on this, and the disc has slides right in between, and uh, that's how the brakes work. Uh, there's also uh, these these washers have a little a little tab that goes through a hole on this fork. So you make sure that these lower washers, is there a name for them? Um, safety washers. Safety washers. Just make sure they're they're installed correctly. You don't want to install them incorrectly because it's, it's kind of a safety thing. Uh, what size wrench do I need for those? 15. 15. Everything's metric on this. Do you have a 15 in your pocket? No, that would be no. All the way in the drop. All the way in the drop. All the way in the drop. Even if the wheels work. Even if the wheels work. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, how the brakes feel? Um, need to uh, need to loosen. loosen. Yeah, need to loosen. Oh yeah, you loosen this. Is it the same tool? No, it should be a five. It looks like it might be a four. It's a five. five. All right, so I guess I need to get a close-up, Mr. Bill, on, on that. Uh, make sure it's uh, okay. you got the fixing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that the, it's all the way in the dropout. If you don't do it like some other things like that. All right, this is yours. So. so now that we've got the wheel on, the brakes feel a little spongy. That's because they are a little bit out of adjustment. Has no uh, nothing to do with the the company. It 
is just a kind of an adjustment thing. This is something you need to do when you're installing these bikes. So let's let's look at what we got here. We have a hydraulic caliper and we have the brake disc here. When I hit the brakes, if you pay attention, the brake disc actually moves over. Go ahead, do it again. Yeah. And that's going to cause that's going to cause the brakes to be a little bit spongy. You can see I've got about half throw on this brake lever. So we're going to adjust this and it's going to center it up. So I'm going to break this bolt loose here. And this bolt here. And then I'm going to gently, you saw everything moved. I'm going to hit the brake and it's going to center up where it needs to be. Pull it. Alright, you ready? Alright, so with that in position, we are going to re-tighten up these bolts and it's going to center up the caliper perfectly with the rotor. Should. It should. Like, like I'm like 99.9% .9 positive it's going to do it. Alright, uh, I'm going to let... What? Be before you uh, tighten it fully, test the brakes out. I've already tightened it fully. I'm okay. going to test out the brakes. Okay, it did it. And I don't have half throw anymore. I actually have like three quarter. And it feels more solid. Let me feel it. Oh yeah, that's much better. It's definitely better. And is it actually, yeah, looky there. That It's got the tiniest bit of movement on the, the brake disc. And uh, you could probably keep trying to adjust it but when you tighten it up it might have a little ink to it but it's way better now and so the uh, front brakes are done so let's move to uh, check the back brakes oh yeah it's doing the same it's, 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 it's got off. A, a little bit of drag on that yeah. so let's go ahead and adjust the rear brakes while everything's uh, still apart we'll just go ahead and do it Oh, this is such a cool bike, dude. You want to make sure that the sod bolts are fully tight. Oh, from the front. And you can you can probably lightly tighten it and recheck it, but I'm just doing the full thing, and that is much better. So the brakes feel great. Uh, this chain actually looks like it's adjusted correctly. <coughs> Uh, which is great. So, uh, what now, do you think, man? Should we uh, do the... So now we're going to be installing the pedals. Now there is a right and a left pedal that goes on this bike because one of the threads is backwards on one side. So uh, I'm going to say the left side is the one that's backwards and the right side... So I'm going to say the right pedal, righty, tighty. The left pedal, lefty, tighty. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to put some uh, anti-seize on the threads on these pedals. And oh yeah, I, I guess I should have uh, pointed out that there is, do all the pedals have an R and an L on them? No. Okay, so but this bike has an L and an R. So you can see which one's the right and the left. So the only other way you can tell is by the threads, uh, the, the shape of them. Actually, there is an L and an R on the end nice. of the pedal. Nice! Okay, but all pedals have that? Most. Most pedals, okay. So That's, that's a bicycle thing. Yeah. So I'm going to add a little bit of anti-seize. You can also use grease if you feel like it. But being an old mechanic, I do so miss getting this gray goop all over my hands and somehow or another wind up at the house with it. So we're going to try that again since it's been so long since I've worked on a vehicle. And lefty tighty. So you feel like you're doing the wrong thing here. But as you see, it's just going right on like it's supposed to.
right, let me see if I can try to figure out how... So, when you're pushing down, what you do is you rotate it there like that. And then okay. you, can, you can also, if you don't like the, the angle, if you flip the wrench over. But yeah, now, how, how tight do you go? You go tight. Those pedals, you do not want those pedals to... Uh, so you get some ump onto it. Ah, yeah, I got it. Okay, but see that wrench there? It's a short wrench. Uh-huh. Um, I gave it a lot. Yeah. If so you've got a long wrench, you don't have to give it quite as much. Yes. So. All right. Okay. And that's going to be a, a five as well, looks like. That looks like a five. It's a fiver. I need to get this grease off my finger. Alright. So I'm gonna just set it up kinda kinda close to where I think it should be. And I'll adjust it fully later. Now be careful with the wrench, don't be scratching the paint. This, this is the best looking bike I own now. I'm going to be sporting this thing around town. People are going to be like, who was that guy? He's gorgeous. That's me. <laughs> and it's going to be all because of the bike. Right? right now, now that I got the seat in there, First thing that you want to do before you forget, make sure that seat is tight. That piece? Yes. 15? 14. 14? What happened to that? I thought I had a 14. Thanks. Alright, so we're going to tighten this. Oh wow. It is. Which tight. is a good thing. Yes. So, bikes together, ready to ride. Right? Forgot the engine. Really? Because check this out. Something you don't need an engine. You can just ride it. Oh, those brakes feel good. All right, so we're going to be setting the engine on this thing next. Wow, this. I, I just I keep getting I, I'm speechless every time I look at this thing. It's awesome. All right, so we got the air. Oh yeah, America. Okay, now I remember in the past, I think the bolts coming up through the bottom is the best thing, I believe. Because I think uh, we ran into a problem coming through the top on, on it once. sudden I'm having, there it is. Now we come up from the bottom because this uh, linkage for the, uh, for the, uh, the accelerator, the, all the brackets and stuff. Yep, that's exactly why. Beautiful. Let's go grab some dinner, dude. Throttle cable here, so you loosen up this bracket and just kind of go up and under there. Then we have... There we go. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it. And a lot of people can... They'll uh, trim the cable. What would you suggest, bro? Absolutely. Trim the cable. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. It's working. 
looking good. All right. Well, I don't have a way to really trim it right so now. So let us not forget about our rack that we have on for this bike. We have a rack for the front and we have a rack to the back. So it has four bolts on the frame that we have to take out. And then the rack goes on. Pretty easy. Very, uh, very uh, usable rack. Pinched my finger, man. All right, so the rack is a, just a little bit tweaked, but just like that, it's done. So we got the front rack next. So my brother is finishing up the front rack. It's looking good. You know what? I'm going to call this one uh, Captain America. You ever seen the movie Easy Rider? Yep. Yeah. This reminds me of that chopper bike. It does. Yeah. Just need to rake that front end out. So, this thing is just gorgeous. I am so looking forward to driving this around. Riding it around. So, I'm going to go get some gasoline and uh, fill this thing up now. And uh, we're going to try to fire it up for the first time. How many pulls? Three. Six. Six? Let's find out. Although I'm definitely not going. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Filling her up. I think this tank leaks. Yeah, there it is. You know what? That's a good start. I see fuel in it. Fuel is on. Choke is on. Switch is on. I say three. Ready? Now that I got the bike unloaded, let's take it for a ride. It's gonna be so good.
So guys, I have ridden this bike about 15 miles on uh, nice pavement and uh, dirt roads. This thing is just fantastic. So if you wanted to buy a new motorized bicycle, think no further. I would highly suggest the Fat Moto 2024 model Fat Moto All Terrain with the American flag paint job. So I reckon that's it for this video, guys. This bike has just been flawless. I have no breakdowns or anything, so it was a pretty straightforward video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch y'all later. I wonder if it'll do a donut. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Thanks, awesome. Happy Father's Day, Dad. <laughs>